I would say is kind of the epicenter of modern skateboarding. It's definitely recognized by most people as a historic landmark in the skateboard, skateboard world. It's probably the most famous skate park in the world. Well, most of my skating in the 70s, 80s, 90s, until the late 90s was, was involved illegal activities. Skateboarding was a crime, as we knew. Um, it wasn't until Burnside came along and, and we found a way to get off the streets. Of course, it made sense that Mark Scott was involved with it since he was a legendary skater unto himself. And, and that, that may have lent itself a little bit to the ability for him to make it happen. It was an ideal spot because it was rather industrial back then, no buildings, and it was kind of just full of trash and unwanted people like skateboarders. So we'd actually go there prior to that just to do wall rides on the, the wall. But once that bank went up, I uh, was excited. And I was like, well, I can do better than that. We're going to do some other banks and it just turned into this big movement. When this skate park made it to Tony Hawk 2, there was a video game and Burnside was in it, and that's what set it really off, that people were like, Burnside, what's that? How is, and that's when it really took off, and people, this became the legend. What's the gnarliest place you ever skate? Gotta be Burnside. In the early 2000s, there was definitely kind of a gnarlier culture here, as far as like locals only go. Uh, if you were like a little kid that's, you know, never been there, you get like vibed out and chased away, so. It took me like 10 years to build up a company. When I first came to Burnside Skate Park, it seemed very intimidating just because of how big it is. And there's lots of um, kind of this edgy punk rock scene, which can be pretty int intimidating being one of the only females there. I feel like I was going through some difficult times and that was kind of a place that I came to to decompress and kind of call home. Skateboarding, if you're new at it, just 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 know that you're never going to get better if you don't try. Some of the best skating in the world happens there because top professionals go there and, and just do their thing. And I'd be honest with you, it's one of my favorite spots. I need to get down there to skate. It's right, right down the road. The place is great. The skateboarders themselves will maintain it. Mark Scott's been working on this project for almost two years. He says the resolution's nice, but he wants even more. I'd like to get it so that I could be a national monument or something, so I'd stay here forever. But that's just, I'm probably dreaming there, but, you know, I just like building and I like skating. This is the place to do it for me.